This isn't going to be just a recipe to create this shape, and uh, so I recommend looking at some of the other wings tutorials first because the steps I'm going to explain probably benefit with a bit of background knowledge into the way wings works. Right, so right click and create an icosahedron. We select the entire shape, switch to face selection, right click and inset and do about 50% inset, maybe 60%. The reason I can be vague about that is the next step is we're going to have to zoom right into the model and see where the intruded faces meet. So right click, intrude this with those faces selected, roll into the inside of the model, the mouse wheel can control the zoom, and what you're aiming to do is get rid of the red but only get the edges to just meet. So we'll just get that set and then left click, oh, select the entire model, right click and clean it up. Now if the job's worked then you should be able to just select one of these corners and move it and it will just move all together. If, if we hadn't cleaned up then you would have seen there'd be multiple corners there and that will uh, stop this process working later on. Right, the next challenge then is to cut these faces up and rotate parts of them. So just select one of these outer edges, press the I key for identical then press G and hopefully if you clean up jobs done properly all these inner lines will be selected. Now press C to connect those and I'm just going to show you now what, what the problem is we have here and, and, and then you'll see why I chose the solution I did. So if we loop cut these now where the object gets chopped into lots of separate sections deselect it and we'll just select one of these sections and then hide it using the geometry graph. Right here if you look at the shape of these faces which I want to rotate they're not symmetrical so they wouldn't meet up with one another if I rotated one one way and one another way. I need these to be symmetrical. So press Ctrl and Alt and Z to go back to the point where I got the lines connected together and at this point right click and circularize and just adjust it so well you, whatever you fancy really but uh, try not to create any weird geometry in the process like overlapping faces and you can see now if I go back to the model and, and loop cut it and then get rid of one of these faces so let's just select one of these and hide it again that these faces now are squares unfortunately if I select one of these squares and press identical they're not identical enough for me to be able to select all these squares at once so another selection strategy is now needed I'll just unhide that again Press space to deselect. As it happens, if I select this uh, vertex here and I press I for identical, you can see that I keep pressing I a few times, it seems to take a while to get there. You can see that these outer corners are all identical. And if I go inside and I'll look for these inner corners now and press identical, they're not identical exactly. So I have to select a few of these and keep pressing identical. The aim being to get the inner and outer corners all selected. Right, there's quite a few of these are not particularly identical so just have to be patient and roll around the inside of the surface and select them if necessary because it's easier to do this than it is to split the shape apart bit by bit and select all the inner square faces. Okay, right, I think that's got them all. So now if I switch to face it looks like, oh obviously I missed one down here so I can use Control Z select that and then switch back to face okay so it looks like everything's selected but if I hide one of these parts you'll see that these end faces are left unselected so this is an easy solution to get them selected I use a select and inverse option and now all those end faces are selected right click rotate normal hold the shift key down and put in a 45 degree twist select the entire object weld it back together. So have a look around to make sure all these corners have welded. It looks good. Select the entire object, smooth, smooth again. And then if you look where these lines run, you're aiming for not this line here, but that line there. And then press loop and identical and loop and identical and loop and identical until it's managed to go around the entire object. And then right click bevel. Okay, so it's not beveled a lot, which uh, makes me suspect that I might want to clean the shape up. So if I press Ctrl Z again 
and go to the entire shape, right click and choose clean up. You have the option of increasing the tolerance here. Uh, it can cause some of your geometry to collapse if you make the tolerance too high, but it can also got a better chance of cleaning something up if you turn it up a little bit. It all depends on the size of your model. Okay, we'll try this beveling again. So we're looking for this line. So it's not the first line from the point, it's the second one. A loop, identical, loop, identical, loop, identical, until you can see it's managed to go right around the object. And then right click and bevel. Let's see if it'll let us bevel a bit more. Hmm. No, it won't. Okay, right, let's see. If we select face, you can see where we are with this. But I was hoping for a thicker section on top. So the answer here might be to smooth the shape again. And then we can select, uh, let's say, one, two, the third line in here, or possibly the fourth line should have similar characteristics. So identical and loop, identical and loop. The only risk is as the lines get shorter, the identical uh, command obviously has a degree of tolerance in it, in which case you might start selecting bits of the lines that you didn't want to, but it looks like it's worked. So you know, I can see now I've got broader areas that are, are left unselected. Right click, intrude, Let's just intrude the shape a bit. Don't go too far because then you can create weird geometry, but it looks to have behaved itself. Select the entire object, press smooth, just to bevel those edges down a bit and you have this sort of interesting interlocking shape based on an icosahedron that is it's all one sur one surface or one object well, not quite one surface it's not mobius i think there's an inside and an outside so you could uh, explore the possibilities of maybe ex shell extruding another surface on top of that if you wanted a two color object but there you go that's the end of the video hope you found that useful and that you'll uh, you'll experiment with wings 3d and render these objects in the render engine of your choice.